Hello guys, this is John, AE5X, and lately I've been looking at the YouTube channel of W, or I'm sorry, of KV9RLW. He's posted a series of YouTube videos lately where he looks at the single sideband performance of the true SDX transceiver, and uh, he notices that his has a large amount of splatter on single sideband, as you can probably see from his uh, web SDR, I think, capture of a, of a transmitted signal as received on a station a few hundred miles away from him. And so I decided to measure the IMD performance of my true SDX. Let me show you the setup here. Um, you can see that I'm powering the rig from its USD port, so it's putting out about half a watt. But prior to the round of measurements that I've just made, I powered it from uh, with a battery in 12 volts at full power from its uh, normal DC input and the results are the same. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going out and into Elecraft's bidirectional coupler and taking a sample off of the RF and that is going into uh, not that, but this, a spectrum analyzer. And I've also got Elecraft's two-tone generator here. It generates two tones as its name implies one at 700 hertz one at 1900 hertz and I can transmit those into the uh, true SDX either individually or at the same time so first of all let's have a look and see what they look like individually let me key up here okay this is one tone going in and I'm on 20 meters, by the way, as you can probably see. And that looks pretty nice. Nothing wrong with that picture at all. Again, that's with one single tone from the two-tone generator going into the true SDX. And there's its spectral plot. Now, let me uh, turn off that tone. No note the frequency of it, 14326670. Let me put the other tone on here by moving this jumper over to here. Okay, and now I'm on the lower tone, so I'm going to move the marker. 14.325.445 megahertz. And again, that looks pretty nice. Nothing wrong at all. The problem comes when we inject two tones, which uh, would also come when you speak into a microphone. You're uh, transmitting multiple audio frequencies at that point. Those frequencies mix with each other and create IMD. Let's have a look at that. I'll put in both tones at the same time now. And there they are. Um, let me point to the uh, the two original tones. They're here where the cursor is and right above it. This peak is the uh, third order IMD. The one next to it is fifth order, seventh order, ninth order. Typically, third order IMD product should be about 30 dB down in a well-designed transmitter and you can see they're nowhere near that. I'll put up screenshots of uh, what they are with Delta cursors on the screen in a minute but anyway that's why uh, KB9 RLW, myself and probably most other true SDX owners are seeing such uh, such splatter on single sideband because of poor IMD performance of the true SDX. Uh, what causes that? Nonlinearity in the transmitter uh, specifically what causes that in the true SDX, I have no idea. But uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's the problem. 73, thanks for watching.